pag dito ka titingin ka, paghihinga ka, babanda na yung hininga mo. Everything rushing, rushing down in my head and, and I was thinking, what am I doing? Dahil sa babae yun. That three years was hell for me, but eventually that was the breakthrough moment. I'd like to invite you to join Unbox Success 2022 as we begin to unbox the many, many ways for you to build your wealth. It's going to be featuring myself, Carlo Ople, Chase Freyo, Tony Herbosa, and Teo Bautista, among many things. Meron pa kami special guest. And please, September 24 at Samsung Hall in SM Aura. See you there. How did you start? I mean, what background mo, what got you into going to Dubai? So basically, typical uh, Filipino OFW story. Uh, I graduated as a nurse. And then eventually, ano din ako, board passer ako ha. Okay. And nurse, then, and then? And then, uh, eh, hindi ko gusto ang nurse. Okay. Hindi ko alam bakit ako nag-nurse. Hindi ko gusto. Okay. Dahil sa babae yun. <laughs> Dahil sa girlfriend ko, nursing siya. So, nag-nurse okay. na lang ako. Hinabol mo. Pinan- pinanindigan ko. Nag-break din kami, pero nurse na ako. Okay. So, nursing was not really my passion. And then eventually, um, So, hindi ka nag-practice as a nurse? No, nothing. As in, pero I'm a board passer. Okay. So, there was an opportunity uh, to go to uh, that time. Ang nurse, magkano lang sahod? 10,000? Okay. 7,000? Training, training ka pa. Mm-hmm. So, there's a, a specific job which is a uh, call center. Call center. Mm. Okay. So, so, from being a nurse, or you didn't practice a nurse, call center. Like that's call center, the, that's yun yung maraming trabaho. Yes. Okay. So, okay. I grabbed the job. Um, was just there for nine months. Okay. Um, to, to my, ano, to my, uh, Sa, for, for me to say na hindi naman naging useless yon. At the okay. end of the day, that's the reason why my comm skills was developed because okay. of what I'm doing right now. But at that time, it was not really something I can see myself <laughs> growing up doing that job. Kasi super mahirap eh, lalo na night shift. So nine months later, I had an opportunity to go to Dubai because my sister was there. Okay, so nurse, oh, uh, call center, mm-hmm. and now go to Dubai because your sister wants you to go. Yes. In, kasi, in Dubai. Kasi, naawa siya kapatid niya. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You're such a typical cliche Pinoy Filipino story. Filipino story, it is. Na it Filipino is. OFW, nag-nursing, mm-hmm. di nag-nurse, nag-call center, mm-hmm. naawa ang pamilya, nakita ng opportunity sa Dubai. Kinuha and then, ako. Kinuha ka na. Yes. Then you went to Dubai. I okay. went to Dubai. Okay. And then eventually, my story was I saw, kung, kung baguhan ka sa Dubai, okay. it, you, you'll go to a specific place Provinciano ako, I'm from General Santo City. Okay. I went there, tapos nakita ko, uy, ganda ng place ng ate ko, kasi building, tapos naka-elevator. Mm, so yeah. I was just, wow, amazing. So medyo excited ako pagpasok ko sa room. Oh my God. Pag dito ka titingin ka, paghihinga ka, babanda na yung hininga mo. Ganon kaliit yung place niya. Na, ano, and then, kasama and niya pa yung partition. partition. Yan, okay. So by the way, sa so mga nakikinig, Pag bago ka sa Dubai, eh, syempre, di ba, nagtitipid ka, napakamahal ng rental doon. Mm, super. So, you will stay in a place na, let's say, good for four, pero mm. ano kayo, 12. 12, yes. Ganon, okay. May joke kami dyan, ang tawag doon sa room na yun, a city within a city. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi parang may city ka na. Can you just imagine how difficult it is to use the bathroom? Super. Schedule dapat yun. Bago ka mag... Pwede ba schedule ang pagbabanyo? Uh, what I mean is, yung, pag, yung pagpupoops, yun okay. hindi. Okay. Pero yung, yung, ano nyo, yung ligo nyo, every morning, Unahan yan. Unahan yan. O, ma- kung ikaw yung, uh, ano, typical 7 o'clock ang pasok, tapos huli ka sa pagpasok doon sa partition. So, ikaw yung pinakamaaga. So, okay, you stayed in, in, in Dubai. What was your work? Ano yung ano trabaho? I was, I was, ano, I, I got hired as a customer service slash data entry. So, okay. So, punch ako ng invoice uh, wow. doon sa Dubai. So, I was just punching invoices. And, uh, oh my God, this is very frustrating job. First of all, so uh, let me let me assume that you were very unhappy. Super, very much. For three years of my life, I, I was like for the first six months, I want to go home. Okay. And I thank myself I didn't, because at, at that job, first of all, self pity comes in. Um, in the Philippines, the mindset is that when you're nice, you get to be able to tell people to do what you want to do if you're okay. nice to them. So typical beginner sa Dubai mentality is we bring that nicest to niceness doon. And aabuso kayo because of that. Exactly. And that's one of the major reasons why yung mga visit visa kasi ang tawag eh, uh, or mga baguhan sa Dubai usually have difficult time adjusting sa mga other nationalities because people would really take advantage of you if they see na pag pinagawa Para yung... Mga Pinoy, medyo push over pag bago. Yes, exactly. Because the culture here, from, okay. from what I have understood is... I mean, Ayaw natin na kaaway. Ayaw natin na kaaway. And we tend to uh, 
we tend to react to people who's nice too. Okay. And that's the reason why we're able to get what we want because we're nice to them. Okay. So, kung magagalit ako sa'yo, mas hindi mo magagawa yung gusto ko. So, nakuha na natin yung culture na yun. Going to other nationalities or uh, abroad, medyo iba ang approach pala doon. Hindi those, pwedeng ganun. Hindi pwedeng ganun. You have to stand your ground. Mm-hmm. Ang, ang, ang isa kasi sa mga napansin ko is, one of the downside of Filipinos as well as workers is we're not capable of, mga bago ah, pagbago, mm-hmm. we're not capable of of separating personal to business or to job. Pag pinagalit bit, 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 bit pag pinagalitan tayo sa trabaho, we think that personal lang atake nun. And okay. that, pag uwi natin, bitbit bit pa natin. But for other nationalities, um, you tell me straight up what you want me to, ano, anong mali ko, and then after the work, okay na. Mabilis sila mag-move on. Yes, mabilis sila mag-move on. And that's one of the things na I have to learn the hard okay, way. Okay, how long before you matured? How long before you realized na hindi pwede ganito ang buhay sa Dubai? Uh, it's, it's quite a long journey. Like, on my first three years. Kasi against our, against our ingrained, kumbaga against our DNA yan. Eh, mm-hmm. no? so, and, and, and then somehow, at that specific point, yung three years ko na nagpapunch ng invoice, imagine, I was there in the middle of uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon punching an invoice and then eventually I stopped like everything rushing rushing down in my head and, and I was thinking what am I doing? Like, pinaaral ako ng parents ko. Mm-hmm. And maganda ba yung income mo nung ginagawa? No, uh, like super minimum. minimum. So basically, sa mahal sa Dubai, wala na ipon. Wala na ipon. I, I, wala akong ipon for three years. You were just surviving. Surviving. But you know, most people would think that 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 was useless but it's not really mm-hmm. uh, because that situation allowed me to develop a specific character which is which is resiliency oh being able to withstand mental pressure mm-hmm. um done attitude being able to do the things that you needed to do in order for you to finish the work was guys pakinggan niyo to ah. these are the things na darbs nakita mo no people that hito sa pinas Medyo kulang sa ganyan. Exactly. So, guys, parang ganyan si Darts. Mm. So, and, and, and I think, I think those situations, those difficult times because you built the muscle. Exactly. And, and most of us, di ba, uh, the enemy of progress uh, is leniency. Pag okay. super lenient tayo, we're not able to break through. That three years was hell for me, but eventually that was the breakthrough moment. Yeah. Kasi doon ako natuto. Had it not been for that three years, yeah. you probably won't be doing. Okay, you you were mentioning that there was a time of, oi, what's this? Mm-hmm. What was that moment? Ba't umapot siya ganun? I was unhappy with my job. Biglang nag-break ka na lang. Ganun. Yes, like, this is not the thing that I want. Mm-hmm. And uh, I told myself, it, it was a matter of denial and acceptance. Okay. The time that I was denying that kasi gusto ko maging nurse. Okay. For the sake of calling being alam mo hindi ko gusto yung nursing. It's just that at least yung pinag-aralan ko yun yung trabaho ko. So I was convincing myself na temporary lang tong invoice puncher and I'm going to review kasi pag nasa abroad ka alam mo mag-review and stuff and all. And they earning better there as nurses. For sure. oh. So yun yung parang naging defense mechanism ko. So, so ang ang original plan mo Tatawirin mo lang yan and go uh, back to being a nurse. I mean, be a uh, nurse. But it, it's impossible because nursing is not really my thing. Okay. So I just one day, I, I thank God because I have this moral compass, um, right moral compass always. Na uh, I I don't want to be a nurse and and it's something that I don't want to do. So might as well become the best invoice pun- puncher in this company. Okay. So dun nagkaroon ng mind shift. Kaya ka umabot ng tatlong taon. Nag- or after yes. the third year na to. Nag mind shift ako. That was the time where in the management knew that hindi lang ako pang invoice punching. 